Right now, if you look up here in the status bar, we've got no connection set up at the moment to any internet. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to tap on it here. I'm going to select a connection. This window is going to come up. And again, all of this stuff can be automated. I'm doing it very slowly for you so you can see each step. But usually this would happen very quickly. So right here at the top, Boingo Unit, this is our hot spot that we've created for this event. I'm going to select that one. Then it's going to ask me whether I want to save that for future use. Um, and you can see this is blinking right now as the as the software on the device is actually doing that. I'm going to say no for this just because I'm going to do later demos tonight. Immediately though, what you see is once the device is associated with the access point, our application running in the background pops up immediately with your username and password ready to go. And in fact, with one setting change, you can make this screen go away and it'll automatically go past this step. Right. Okay. Now all I have to do is if I connect here again, I'll just click on the login button. When I click on the login button, you can see right here we're logging into Boingo Mobile Wi-Fi. It'll tell me we've connected and the little icon here will go green and I'm ready to go. And so now I have a full internet connection. I'm not going to hit a walled garden or login page, an interstitial page to go put in credentials or anything like that. I'm going to immediately get to what I want to do. Require a software, a piece of software on the device. Right. The software is going to be available on tablets here on this device, and it's already available on Nokia's download site as well as Boingo's site today for S60. So as soon as the NA10 goes on mar in market next month, you'll be able to get the software free of charge. Right. And it's all for eight dollars a month flat rate. Right. So you're talking about Nokia today. You're saying that would that would that price be good also for any portable device, Windows Mobile, Windows the Mobile. iPhone? Correct. Well iPhone, we did do a promotion over the summer for iPhone, right? Because iPhone hasn't integrated our software onto their device, and we're hoping to do so now that they've just announced an SDK, right? Um, because it needs to approach the hotspot in a special way for our billing to see it as a device. Otherwise, it looks like a laptop. You could do it today, but you'd the iPhone will approach our hotspot today as a laptop. We therefore have to pay the higher price. And eight dollars a month is that also a global or just the US? That's today? a global price for these types of devices. Again, we make a difference between laptop and non-laptop. So any non-laptop device, you know, 795 US, 595 euros, 395 British pounds. It is a global service. Okay. Handsets are everywhere. We can't we can't right. do that based on borders. And the hotspot network is the same. Are you using the same? Right. We are in the process of, of finishing off all the integrations to, to support these devices. There's a slight difference, but you should expect in the next few months they're equivalent. Okay.